So this project was an experiment really to see if it was possible to build a high precision machine uh, in a shed really with some basic tools and it didn't work the way that I went about doing it but I'm fairly certain that it could be made to work with uh, a different approach really. I know that it's possible to make one with a turbocharger because I've seen a lot of people doing that. Um, because really with the turbocharger we already have the inlet and the compressor and also the outlet as, as the whole, as one piece. All you really need to do is just make the combustion chamber. I wanted to take this a step further and actually make the inlet and outlet myself. And although I had to buy an uh, impeller to use as the compressor, uh, I actually tried to make my own turbines. And although I think they have a lot to do with why it didn't work, I'm still really happy with them. And I've got another video on my channel where I explain how I made them. So the reason that it failed is mainly just down to poor precision, really. Um, things like the clearances between the turbines and the outer casing. Uh, obviously, as you'll be able to tell in the testing video, there's not enough fuel getting to the flame, uh, which is why it keeps blowing out. But really, at that point, I knew that it couldn't work because of other factors, even if it was sorted out and uh, it had more fuel going to it. Um, and looking down the end of the outlet, I noticed that all the blades were just completely mashed. And that's just down to, as I said before, the clearances not being uh, tight enough. And the lack of balancing on the turbines, really. I think the approach that you would need to make it work out would be to spend as much time and energy as possible on balancing the turbines. Uh, even the impeller that I bought, uh, even that needs to be balanced. Everything really, everything needs to be perfectly balanced because I think the main problem was uh, vibrations caused by the off-balance turbines uh, it, were making it collide with the outer walls, which obviously just mashed it to pieces. Made it so that even though even if it wasn't hitting the walls. The shaft would just never be able to turn fast enough with the imbalances to actually create enough pressure in the compressor to get the jet engine to actually self-sustain. So I will be trying again, but it's going to be a totally different approach and a totally different design and it's going to have to be probably much smaller than that one because there was really no need for it to be that big. Um, it can be much more compact, much, much tighter tolerances and hopefully I'll somehow come across a lathe that I can use and I can actually do it properly. So thank you for watching. Uh, I'm sorry that it was a very underwhelming end to a long and promising project. Uh, but if you subscribe I guarantee there will be a working jet engine in the near future.